Last episode, we worked on the head, finished it up. It is also on the machine shop right now for resurfacing and a valid job. And of course, the block got done with the resurface here. We decked it, not too much. As you can see here, we just made sure it's all flat and clean, got ready and all the bottom end here. As we're gonna assemble the crank. And of course, now we're gonna show you guys, we're gonna check the cam. We're gonna measure the lift to figure out what stage drag cartel cams this is. So yes, this one is just for you. Let's go. <laughs> Now here is the deck, fresh, freshly resurfaced, and yes, we didn't have to hone the block. We didn't get to hone it because the owner decided to reuse the piston, so we got to keep it as is. And yes, let's turn the block now here. It's so clean, right? Because it's it was always changed oil, or the oil was frequently changed, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have no, no browning or cooked oil. But it, the main bearing saddles need a bit of wiping. So, yep. Now let's wipe this off. Now it's here. It's all clean and good. Yep. All right. Now it's time to install the ACL race main bearings. All right. And of course, Torco assembly lube. Let me show you this. Here. We lavishly use the Torque Assembly Lube like a lot. You can you can use more, but it'll start dripping. That's why we have cardboard on the floor. The set thrust washer, groove side out, of course. And now let's go to the workbench because the main girdle is there. Here it is. So we pre lubed the, with the assembly lube. And of course have the all the edges here with Honda Bond or 3 Bond lightly and equally, of course. Okay, now let's go back to the engine stand. Let's drop this in. There you go. Okay. Now we hand tight this so that we can go with the parking sequence. All right, there. Okay, first step is 22 feet pounds torque. I'm gonna do this now. We don't have time lapses because it's gonna be, it's not gonna take too long. Yes, the clicking is so addicting. Yep. There, okay. Make sure everything clicks good because it came from hand tightening only. Of course, as you hand tight the other areas, the other one get looser because the girdle, the main girdle, is actually pressing in better. That's ultimately the purpose of the first step to get it all snug and ready for the final torque. All right there all right now we got to do the angle it's 56 degrees for the final step so we're gonna set this here now okay now we're gonna do 56 degrees and that's it okay had the time lasts because it's taking too longer than expected all right there you go Yes. All right. Yes. Now, maybe we should make a video of how to use the angle gauge, but there's a lot of videos here in YouTube. You can search on that, but eventually we'll make that. But if you're liking the video, hit the like button because they help the algorithm spread it to a wider audience. It helps us pretty much to continue all the good stuff that we're sharing here. And of course, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. This way you're going to be part of the community. You can always ask me any anything you want in the comments, and I'll try to answer it appropriately. And of course, we'll talk about the membership only a little later. All right, so let's continue. So now let's turn the crank. Let's see how light this turns. Wait, wrong socket. Sorry, sorry. Okay, we turn it. We get the wrench, the back wrench, sorry. Oh, yeah. This one's good, too. That's because 
the you notice the key series the girdle is like the whole bottom end so that's that's very very durable let's look at it also all tightened up now you see how stable that is because it doesn't have a cap it's like a whole bottom side of the block is the actual girdle that's tough and strong yep and now let's go focus a bit on the cylinder head because we finished porting it here it is we finished porting this as you can as you guys remember on the second episode you can see the bolt work is good even the transition from the port side wall onto the bowl itself and of course the short turn we didn't really take off any material there we just made sure the shape is good because you know we don't want to experience any de de detachment on the flow and the key to uh, having a good finish is of course the lubricant because you use 70 percent ethyl and 30 or 40 percent soapy water some ratio like that you can see here even the light shows you there's no bumps or ridges right here onto the exhaust this one the tough part here on actually on all series d series b series you have to try to get the bowl the the seat as round towards the bowl and into the rest of the ports we don't want it like ovaling out or changing shapes and whatnot it has to be consistently shaped and increasing the size steadily and slowly as you can see here on the lights you can see it better here on the angle look at that you can see the curve is all good and, not, and contoured well here also and of course we worked on the chamber we cleaned it up here you can see on the size of the chamber and also we did talk about this it's all the members only here look we took I talked about all the details on the port finish and now many more so you gotta check it out if you want to be a member okay now let's go to the cam here we're, we're doing a crude way of measuring it because the owner still can't remember or has no idea what stage it is and which is kind of odd but hey we're, we're left with what we have here so we measure it it's all zeroed out so it's actually 0 0.302 of an inch but let's do it again here is zeroed on the base circle okay we turn it all right one two and three oh wait there so it's 0 0.302 of an inch now because the k series has a rocker ratio of 1.75 so you 0 0.3 a point three zero two of an inch times 1.75 is 0.428 or 0.430 lift at the valves now onto the exhaust here we turned it around so now we turn the camshaft okay one two okay so it's 0 0.271 inches so of course 0 0.271 times 1.75 rocker ratio that's 0 0.474 all right so it's 0 0.474 lift on the exhaust so now when we calculate that to millimeter that's 0.528 lift is 13.42 millimeter on the intake and then 0.472 inches on the exhaust is 12.04 millimeter so hey we checked drag cartel's website i checked the og series dc camshafts and here look i found this so when you look at it cross reference to the numbers we have is 13.42 millimeters 13.5 intake on the exhaust 12.2 or and we got 12.04 this seems to be a dc 2.2 endurance key camshafts so this is pretty cool this drag cartel 2.2 so that's interesting right so now at least we have an idea but of course, I'm going to email Drag Cartel to cross-reference this to make sure of what we found. So, yep, and we'll do the measurements once again. And of course, once we get to do the third episode, it will be on the end screen for, for you guys. But yes, as because we haven't done that episode yet, 
you know we will have the part two on the end screen this way you can focus on the cylinder head that we did here and also the chamber work yep and that you can click here